we recommend that you get to work. Yes. It's about to give. Woo, child. Come one and come all, and welcome to the Glam Slam Grand Finale. We've narrowed the field down to just two remaining contestants, creating looks to compete for the tournament purse of $10,000 and the title of Glam Slampion. It's time to tie a luxurious bow. You see what I did there? I did, I did. On this slamming season. Our first contestant, she didn't come here just to be Miss Congeniality. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Please welcome Olivia Lux. It feels so good to be in the finale. I knew I could get here. It was just making it happen, and I'm really proud of myself that I made it happen. Welcome, Olivia. Hey, y'all. You look fabulous. Thank y'all. You do, too. Look at you. Thank you. Red carpet ready. It really makes me feel proud to even have been asked to come here, but I'm showing that I deserve to be here, and I could win. Do you think you got what it takes to be the Glam Slampion? I absolutely have what it takes. Well, Olivia, are you ready to meet your competition? Where? Competition where? <laughs> well, staring Olivia down from the other side of the sewing machine, our next contestant has also been undefeated as she toured through Times Square, ready to wear, on her way to relaxing in resort wear on the Fire Island Ferry. Please welcome the physical embodiment of the word superstar, Lux Noir London. Everybody, it's me, Lux Noir London, and I made it to the final two. Hi, Deepa. What's up? Girl, not the theatrics. I thought we were just coming casual. <laughs> <laughs> you may text me. Lux, what's it like seeing your competition, Olivia, in the work arena? I mean, you know, it is what it is. I've beat the best. I guess, well, no. Actually, I haven't beat the best because they lost. So I'm happy to be competing <laughs> against the second best. Oh, the second best. Olivia, I, I don't know about you, but them is fighting words where I'm from. Baby, I look good in gold, not silver. Ah! Interesting. Well, I would love to see it one day. <laughs> You'll see it today, baby. You don't have to wait for too long. And we shall see in the... Just three short hours, honey. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Battle of the Luxes. You can't make that shit up. I think that this episode is going to be a fight to the death because we both really want this. We both worked super hard to get there and we both are right at the end. So I'm sure that none of us are gonna go down without a fight. You know, Rob, New York City does get awfully cold in the winter, but nothing warms my chestnuts up like holiday balls. <laughs> I literally couldn't agree anymore. <laughs> and we're not just talking about tipsy eggnog with your cubicle coworkers. All we want for Christmas is so much more. And that's why in this episode, our contestants must design and bring to life an evening couture look that captures all that is Christmas eleganza extravaganza mm -hmm. in New York City. Mm. Work. Come on, Rockefeller. You may use any of the materials and tools that you see in the work arena, but keep an eye on the clock because as always, you only have three hours to complete your look. That's right, ladies, for the last time, when the clock strikes zero, your looks must be completed and they'll be modeled by identical twins and they will take it to your other contestants who will vote on which look they like and not knowing who done had made what. The winner will take home $10,000 and the title of Glam Slampion. <sighs> for the last time, guys, have we made ourselves clear? Yes. Crystal. Are you ready to round out the year in luxury? Yes. Always. I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies, the clock's about to start ticking. So without any further ado, we recommend you get, get to work. work. Oh. 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 oh my God, you, oh. Oh. you got oh. it. Oh. Oh. Ladies, do not fight. Oh. We do not have a medic today. I need this fur. I need this white fur. Oh. I am not going down without a fight for this fabric. I saw the vision in my head with the gown, with the fabric. I need this fabric, so I'm not letting go. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You literally can't have it. She was not going down easy. When I tell you she is 13 pounds soaking wet, baby, she still put up that fight. Uh, no, you can't. Girl, 
You need to check the rule book. She can't go over to my side. No. That's not against the rules. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. You can have that. I let her have it because at the end of the day, I can make something out of anything. <laughs> Babes. It is the end of the world. I saved your fur. This isn't my color. It's yours. So I'm pulling inspiration from a Scaparelli look. It's this kind of like really fitted bodice with this kind of off the hip asymmetrical kind of skirt that has a lot of draping and like a mermaid tail at the end. So I'm thinking I could really burn the building. She took that red I needed. I'm starting to think how am I gonna utilize these fabrics? I have this beautiful burgundy sequin that has this silver. So it's giving me red and white, almost like a candy cane. And then I have this white fur that instantly gives me winter. And I know that I can create a silhouette that is couture. Do I do a mermaid gown? Possibly, but I want more drama. This category calls for drama eleganza. And I need to think of a silhouette that will be grand enough to take the crown. Lux, how do you feel about the materials that you grabbed? Um, actually, I'm pretty pleased with the materials that I have. I could have gotten a paper bag and I'm gonna turn it into couture, so. Oh. I wasn't really faced by that, I just like getting what I want. Why was that white fur speaking to you? Were you thinking of a- I don't wanna give any ideas to anybody who might be listening because they oh, I'm are not in possession of the white fur. <laughs> so um, I'll just leave that to mystery. Lines have definitely been drawn, especially on my side <laughs> of the arena. Uh, we saw that. Livia, how do you feel about the materials that you ended up with? I didn't know that I had to defend my side of the court, baby, but I'm always ready to do that. And now you really love this white fur. Are we thinking a gown, a party dress, a Snuggie? Monet, a party dress? I mean, Lucy did it. We, we, we couldn't stop her. You're a party girl. Oh my God, get the <laughs> I'm looking to give something over. Okay, work. And I think I've shown in this competition that I can give that. I kind of want, no, I'm not gonna do skin on the side. Let's keep it classy, this is Christmas. So now that the queens are working on their designs, we're gonna have a little family reunion and reintroduce them to their models, Jada and Madeline. Yes, this yeah. is a family reunion. Hey ladies. Hi. Why don't you head over to your queens and get reacquainted? We made it, oh my gosh. Oh my oh. gosh, this is like, I'm so happy and See, that we get that. to work together I again. Know. So we are giving Christmas fantasy. Oh. As you can tell, I am working feverishly on this fur that I had to fight, fight for. So I'm doing a gown and let me show you the sketch. This is, is this a skirt? This. Actually, perfect that you're here. I can try her on. I'm taking a hoop skirt and I'm putting it at the model's knees so it makes like a mermaid so I can have the volume that I need without having the fabric underneath. This is fab. You can like walk sickeningly. Gorgeous. Okay, work. Right now I'm That's focusing on this fur okay. piece. Okay. So at first I was just gonna do fur cuffs. I have so much of this fur and I'm not trying to put it back in the middle oh, for yeah. her. Yeah, no, no, no. So we're gonna make a dramatic big fur coat that's gonna touch the ground and just be trailing. Yeah, it'll, it won't slide because it'll be like all one piece. Right. This is the top of like the dress. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this fabric and kind of drape it like very asymmetrically like mm -hmm. around you. I like one that. hip have it gather mm. and then at the bottom just have it like circle around. You see the mines? No wonder why we fought over this fabric. It is gorgeous, and I could tell it's very expensive, and there's not a lot of it. I need to make sure that I'm being very cautious with how I cut this. The fabric doesn't have stretch. I'm good. Oh. The fabric is very temperamental, and also I'm noticing this fabric can barely go through the sewing machine. The fabric is absolutely not on my team. If this was a sports situation, um, it's giving they're the opponent. This fabric is so thick. 
I'm getting hot just looking at this fur. I'm gonna see fur in my nightmares, so. The fabric is lucky that it's cute. Ladies, one hour in. <laughs> I'm just pretending it was a bell, but it's a holly. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. We'll add that in post. Ding, ding, ding. Work. Olivia, is that a pillow and a dress? That's how I, <laughs> that's how I put on appliques. Oh. <laughs> that's how she appliques. That's how she puts on appliques, yeah. It's better than putting it on the mannequin. Yeah. Hi. Hi, love. How are you? Oh my God, first of all, Good. love the look. She's Thank done. you, I'm a little taller today. Wow. <laughs> This looks expensive. How are you feeling about it? Um, I'm feeling really strong about it. It's honestly like looking pretty major. I love the draping here. You do love a good swoop, you know? I do, I do. I feel like asymmetry, it just kind of always looks a little more luxurious because it looks like a little more effort was like put into it. I think that asymmetry gives your eyes certain places to look and it gives like Focus that isn't so linear, it kind of makes you like really look at the outfit. And I think that it can also accentuate the model's body. It can make you look longer or shorter. Asymmetry is a lovely thing to play with, especially with like Okator. I feel like now we're supposed to be like giving like unity and things like that. It's the holidays. Why are we fighting? Oh my God, you should say that a little louder. I'd love to find a little peace between you two. You know, it's the holidays and I just think that we should not be fighting our sisters. We should be hugging our sisters. Lux, I think that is a great piece of advice. Thank you. I'm gonna go check in with Olivia, see if maybe Olivia agrees. Yeah, maybe she will, maybe she won't. But, you know, <laughs> who's to say only time will tell. <laughs> Olivia Luck. What's up, Rob? You tell me what's up. As you can tell, like fabric is the biggest challenge in this because then you have to conceptualize something off the cuff. So I'm kind of going along with it all. I saw this fabric, it spoke to me, and then now I'm starting to make little things that I'm able to adhere to the front part of the dress. Okay. Because I want it to give couture. I don't want it to just look like a gown from like a store. You right, know? yeah, that is that's a challenge. I noticed all the red flat fabric was taken, which rightfully so, sis, that's what the name happened? of the game. The red fabric, I really wanted it, I really needed it, but I don't need it. Well, I won't keep you too much longer. Thank you, Rob. Good luck, I'm excited to see what this you do. This is wild. Yes, good luck, $10,000. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so, full tee. We are not gonna have enough to finish the bottom. So I noticed that Olivia has a couple petticoats in her station, and I'm thinking, hmm, I could probably spray these red and use it as a little bit of like tool to go under the part that's showing. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, Olivia. What's up? I have a question. Are you gonna use those tutus? I think I am, yeah. Okay, have fun. Lux, yet again, has come over to my workstation. She loves my workstation. If it's one thing Lux gonna do, is gonna be in my workstation. Well, girl, we tried. Olivia, what just happened? Oh, she a... asked for some fabric. And? I said no. <sighs> Lux, what fabric did you want? She has these, like, white tutus and I wanted them to potentially line the bottom of my skirt. So you don't see the hoops? Yeah, because I might not have enough fabric to cover. That's interesting, girl, because when we ran over there, you ran to get the crinoline skirt. I know what I did. And I wanted the crinoline skirt. Well, I had a change of heart. You know, it happened. She had a mo change of the heart. Lux is running out of fabric. It's fine. I see someone's not in the Christmas spirit. Olivia's being pretty naughty and not nice to me right now. It's kind of gagging me because I thought that she was supposed to be Miss Congeniality and I thought that she'd be better than this, but I guess competition truly does bring the worst out of people. I understand that people think I'm a nice girl and I, I am genuinely, you know, best of intentions, but in a competition setting, I've learned the hard way on my season of Drag Race. Niceness isn't gonna get you the crown. Period. Money, what is this? 
Well, let me say something. If these can come here and win $10,000 making these outfits, I know I can win $10,000. So you gonna get me $10,000. I'll have to serve it harder than these twins though. Do you think I can do it? Well, you'd be great, you'd be great. And like the sleeve, this, this is your color. Do you like silver? Yes, it's a, yeah, it is my color, I oh, think. Oh, it's you. Because it, it just reflects you. <laughs> Exactly. You're like, I love how I look on you. Yes, and it brings out like the hazel in your eyes. Word. I love it. Oh, perfect. 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 All right, all right, all right. Hey, my now, you look good. Thank you, man. I can see you up close. <laughs> I'm gonna need to borrow that out though. <laughs> I'm real you serious. You can borrow whatever you want from me, girl. You know that. Oh, Listen, yes. how you feeling, honey? This is down to the wire. Please. I know. I feel like I have like no time, girl. But you, you're making progress. I really wanted to highlight my draping, and I think I'm doing that, mm -hmm. but draping takes time. forever. It really does. And then so, is this gonna be a gown or a cocktail dress? I, we were actually just talking about that. I think I might. The original sketch was a big flared out mermaid, but I think the coat might be dramatic enough to give it the effect it needs. So it's just this really cute, like, you know, slinky, just like down to the floor gown. Okay. Because this is so opulent. I don't know if it needs that flare at the end, but yeah. I have enough fabric and we'll see. I'm glad I didn't give Lux the petticoats because <laughs> I really might need them. Work. Okay, okay, okay. And then, I mean, you spend a lot of time with this intricate detail over here. That looks very beautiful. Thank you. I use wire to create this kind of shape. And um, I really like how it, and zip ties, yeah. Zip ties, work. All right, babe, we'll see you when you get all done, okay? Thank you, Monet. Get it. L and L, Miss Thing. Hi, M Exchange. <laughs> how are you? Good, babe. How are you? I'm doing good. I think that it looks really sickening. And like, so talk to me about draping. Like, where did you learn how to drape? I'm kind of just like doing it. Work. I didn't like go to like school for any of this, so I kind of just like sat down and like played with fabric and was like. Okay, this is how this works. Work. Well, I mean, it, draping is really hard and it takes a long time, but you're f doing it, so f work. Thank you. I can't wait to see the final thing. I'll leave you alone and I'll step away. Ooh, don't see. don't hurt yourself, please. I don't have a share. Thank you. Ladies, we, we have, have 30, 30 minutes, minutes left. left. 30, 30 minutes left. left. Oh, what the f am I gonna put at the bottom of this? Unless, hmm, I have an idea. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, host. Hey. How are we doing? Good, Good. girl. What's I up? hope that you are all having like a festive, holly jolly time. <laughs> okay. I saw you over here, like, you know, doing something with some fabric, maybe making something, and I was wondering if you were gonna use this red fabric right here. Did you, did you put it No, we're not, are you gonna use it for your look? Potentially, allegedly. That's what the streets yeah. are saying. I mean, well, let me, let me, let me read the, the bylaws here. The She's bylaws, the bylaws of, open. of Glam Slam Say. Contestants may use any materials in the work arena to further advance their construction of any garment. Yes. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. Because one thing I'm going to do <laughs> is get what I need. Okay. She okay. actually wasn't even going to ask us. Did you know that? Yes, she, she was. She had her hand on it, and she was like lifting it before you even looked at the bylaws. Wow. Thank God I had these, these handy dandy bylaws. No, you were halfway through the bylaws, and she was already, she was, <laughs> she was done. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what's she gonna take next? Oh. Bam. Now, we figure out, do I wanna build the drama? Okay, so she just told, Olivia just told me that she was probably not gonna do this tool, but I think now she is, which is gonna give it a similar shape to what Lux has going on. I didn't know that Olivia was making a mermaid gown too. My initial sketch was a mermaid tail, and I showed it on camera. So if y'all want to play, you can roll back the tapes. But I'm sure that mine will be better. 
Attention, Attention ladies, ladies, there, there is, is only, only 10, 10 minutes, minutes left, left in the competition, in the competition and, and someone, someone will go away $10,000 richer. So at this point, we are like 10 minutes away from $10,000, and right now is not the time to be messing around. We have to put the pedals to the metal to make sure that everything on the look is finished. There's 10 minutes left, and I still haven't put the fur jacket with my gown. Let's go ahead, let's put it all together. This is crazy. Oh, she has a purse, like a little... Oh, a fur, a first. A first. Fur purse. Fur, oh, two. Oh, like foxtails, that's what she's doing. We only use faux fur here oh, right. at Lamb Slam. We would never, there were no animals besides me harmed in the process of making this show today. I am running out of time. Girl, I don't know if I have enough time. Uh, I have six tails and what feels like six seconds. Ladies, two, two more minutes. minutes. Two, two more minutes. minutes. The clock is definitely ticking and ticking and ticking down, and I'm taking every second I can to make sure that the look is accessorized. So I decided to make a headpiece out of these like cranberry things, which is like kind of really severe that I just thought to do that like on a whim. So I did that and I gave her some earrings that were made out of tiny little red Christmas ornaments to tie in all the red and to tie in a little more Christmas. If Lux doesn't get the cranberries on her head by the time this is over, she can't have the cranberries. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Gorgeous! Ah! The clock strikes zero, the timer stops, and I step back and I'm filled with Christmas joy because my look is a holiday miracle. I think that mine is really well constructed. I think that mine looks really good. There was a lot of technique that went into it. And like, it looks like fashion. It looks like something you could see walking down a runway. Ooh, you did Thank that. Thank you so much. This was really amazing. I'm just, I'm really happy to be here. And wow. I'm just getting emotional now because wow. I'm just really happy. My fabric literally looks like candy canes. It's giving the Christmas eleganza that we're looking for. I am really proud of this piece. Regardless of who wins or not, I did that Bring on a jury of your peers, darling. <gasps> oh my god. Wow, they completed that look on the left in three hours? My goodness, it's glam, it's colorful. Ooh, okay, can we redo this? Because I really want to do this category. This one's really close, but I think that the look on the left is just a little bit more on theme. They're both great, but I like the one on the right a little bit better because it speaks to me a little bit more. It, it's gorgeous. It's perfect. It's giving. It's serving. Perfect. I want one in every color. Why is that not mine? Who made this? Where do I place my order? Oh! So, we've tallied the results from our fellow contestants, and the results are actually here. We're gonna find out who was Christmas Couture and who was Christmas Couture. The winner is gonna win $10,000 and be our crowned Glam Slampion. And the loser will choke on a lump of coal. You really shouldn't have been eating it to begin with. It's not food, it's coal. Now, should we bust this envelope wide open and all? I think yes, we should, right? girl. And the winner is... Olivia Lux! Yes! <laughs> oh, babe, we did it. Oh, yes. Congratulations, oh, I feel like I done won gold at the Olympics. I feel like I won the Super Bowl. What's the basketball one? I am not the winner. Boo hoo, I am crying on the inside, but never on the outside. The journey and the experience that I had is not greater than the prize, but it's definitely something that I will keep with me forever. Thank you, Lux. Congratulations. Lux. Here you go. To prepare for this competition, I 
had to do a lot of internal work before I even got here. I really wanted to make sure I was confident enough to put my talents out there. And in this competition, I really feel like it tested me. And for that, I am just so happy. And this is a big, big, big thank you to all the contestants who slayed it and turned it out all season long. Y'all were everything. And thank you for being our number one fan and cheering on with us from the bleachers. Happy holidays, happy new year, and we'll see you next time for Glam Slam.